Hi guys, I'm Matt from KJP Site Hardwoods, and today I'm going to talk to you about Baltic birch, or Russian ply, Finnish plywood, it's all the same thing. So stick around, I'm going to show you why this is such a popular choice for woodworking and cabinet making. The first thing you're going to notice when you see Baltic birch for the first time is the multi-layers. So there's an odd number of layers. They're cross-banded, so that means they run perpendicular to each other, and that's what gives the Baltic birch its stability and its strength. What's also nice about working with Baltic birch is that outer face is a little bit thicker than what you're used to. In a traditional plywood, this is on an MDF core, you'll see how thin that layer is of the veneer, whereas on a Baltic birch, it's gonna be just around one millimeter, which is perfect if you nick something or bang it, um, you'll still be able to work with it. Baltic birch comes in a variety of sizes and thicknesses, three mil all the way up to 25 mil, and even in some cases, a bit thicker. It also comes in two sizes, five by five and four by eight. Five by five is made with a urea glue line, which means it's great for interior use, the 4x8 is made with a phenolic glue line, which means that it can be used in light marine applications. Not marine grade plywood, but still gonna be okay outside. It's important to know the different kinds of grading there is in Baltic birch. The most common grade is a 4B, so double B on one face, double B on the other face. This grade allows for patches, but patches that will match the actual overall color of the panel. If you go to a 3B, which is 1B on one face and 2B on the other, you're gonna have a clear face. That's the one that people will use if they're crafting, if they're doing anything where you're gonna show the front of a cabinet. But really, Baltic Birch in its true spirit is meant to be more of a structural panel and not something used for decorative applications. So as we know, with Baltic Birch, it's a very, very stable wood or very stable plywood. But one of the places, like with anything in wood, as you get thinner and wider, there's a chance of cupping. This is especially true in the 1 8 and the 1 quarter thicknesses. We have a lot of customers here that use this uh, thinner material for lasers and CNC work. Of course, as you have a big 5x5 five five sheet or 4x8 sheets of thin material, it can lead to some sort of cupping. Uh, we always suggest to our customers that they find a way, either they can build a frame for it, they can weigh, put it down with weights if they're putting it on like a laser or CNC where you can work around it. It's just something that happens with wood that is that thin. Uh, it's, it's always something that you have to deal with. So why would you use Baltic Birch? The main reason that people use it is for its strength and stability. It's great because it's a plywood product, so it's available in a large sheet. And if you compare it to working with hardwoods, it's a lot faster and more economical. You don't submit on any of the strength that you would get with hardwood. Its screw holding capabilities are, are very strong and it's available in all sorts of thicknesses and formats. One of the benefits of using Baltic Birch is the void free core. Um, compared to some of the other plywoods that have a gap, you don't get that with the Baltic Birch. Normally with the plywood, you have to put uh, edge banding on it to cover up those gaps and to cover up the, the plywood core. Baltic birch is often used in commercial applications. It's very industrial, cool looking edge. So yes, you can edge it, of course, but a lot of people choose to just have it exposed and just put a finish on it. So there you have it. There's lots of applications for Baltic birch. If you're looking for something that's strong, something stable, a void-free core and a plywood, this is the product you should be seeking out at your local retailer. At KJP Select Hardwoods, we carry a large variety and we ship all across North America. So don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks.